Welcome to online lesson videos. Let's, uh, to begin with, let's go over the key for this tune, the Squirrel Hunters, which is an old time tune. It's in the key of A, except it has a G natural in it, okay? So you're gonna have two of those in your normal scale. Um, it'll be here on the E string, second finger in the low position, which is right on top of that F uh, sharp. So there's that G. Then you wanna look to your D string, you're gonna have it here. Okay. Then you have uh, your low open G as well. Won't be using that in this uh, octave that we play the tune in. But let's go ahead and review a scale. Let's play a scale with uh, a G in the natural position. And let's put some double stops we might want to use with our scale as we go along. So if you follow with me, I'm going to start on my low A. And I'll be ending on my high A up here. So basically running through two scales all at once. So we start on the A. I'm going to go ahead and blend that with my E. This gives me a nice low end double stop. I'm going to go from there to the B, to the C sharp, to the open D, to the E, blending with the open A now, to the F sharp with the A, then to the G, open A double fourth. Then we go from the A, A, B, blend it with the E, C sharp, blend it with the E, D, blend it with an F sharp, open E, blend it with an A, F sharp, blend it with an A, G in the natural position, you can blend it with an A, and then A. So that was slow, let's move down. So it's good to just familiarize yourself with an A scale and be ready to kind of know some of the notes ahead of time that you're going to be getting into. For instance, the beginning of this tune, we're going to start out with um, an intro, which is just, I use the opening A and E string in the video. I've also heard this called uh, taters by some people. So we started off like this, A and E. Just shuffling on your bow like that. If you want to try something else, you can try the other A and E double stop, which is in your middle two strings. Or um, another one you can try is a C sharp with the, a, with the open E. So and once you have that, we're ready to get into the tune. And the whole point of playing that intro is to set the pace for anybody else you're playing with. And so for instance, one, two, into the tune. Okay. So the beginning of the tune, uh, the Squirrel Hunters, starts off on an open E. And what I like to do is use my fourth finger coming up on the A string and give that E a slide sound. Okay. Here's the first series of notes. We have E, E, D, B. You rest there, pause, then back up. Let's just work on that section for a minute. So we have the open E, two, three. Two, three. Let's try it one more time. Two, three. Now we'll be continuing. There's no rest at that B. Um, so don't, don't get confused early here. We're going to move on to a note immediately after that. Let's add in some double stops here. With this tune, what's nice about it is you can double stop the A and the E string almost constantly through the tune. So let's try all those notes while blending the two strings. Two, three. Okay. So you can hear some of those blendings. And then to get back to what I said originally, you can start off this tune by sliding into that uh, E. Let's try that. Two, three. Okay, before we move on, let's put those, that taters uh, along with this. So with my count, the count I start off with will give us an idea of how we're gonna play the taters. One, two, one. Let's move on. In the next clip, we'll get the rest of this first part. <laughs> 